So it's been a good day. Got a nice lunch. Good bowl of ramen by the mall. Started working on figuring out the van. We'll work on it some more. And we went into the mall proper to buy a bunch of candy to take with us to the province for all the nieces and nephews. Because, you know, they like presents from the city. So we'll bring them some chocolates. Ah, uh, tired. I have not been on a walk in a long time. We have been housebound. Uh, first it was, you know, everyone was quarantined. But it's just been a long 18 months and I'm used to staying in the house now. Shouldn't be, but I am. And I'm comfortable. So we stay in the house way too much. I gotta get back and start my walks. I ain't promising nothing. So I'm out today just taking a stroll, not a walk. And I'm sweating my ass off because, God, it's hot out here. It's almost sunset, so it's cooled off a lot. The path out here is getting pretty crowded. A lot of people come out and walk in the evenings. It's, it's actually pretty nice, pretty windy. So it's much cooler than it was. And it's getting a little dark. It's not dark, but, you know, darker. The sun's not melting us anyway. Humidity is still just oppressive, but what are you gonna do? We had a pretty good day. We went to SM Strata. It's a tall building across from SM City. It's actually, the entire thing's a call center. Huge, I thought it was like gonna be a condo, and then they started putting in weird, way too much mechanical looking, nothing, you know, no windows with a view. I was like, that's a lot of equipment rooms, a lot of weird, yeah. So I didn't know what it was, and we asked them, and they said the entire building is call centers. Well, downstairs, they have a couple nice restaurants. Um, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Not even sure if I remember the name. I think it's Akadon, A-K-A-D-O-N, Akadon, maybe. I went there once before and I had uh, some katsu don, which is really good. That's of course, katsu is the battered fried meat and don is egg. So this was a rice meal with the, basically it's like a chicken fried steak. They make it out of pork or chicken. And this, I got a pork one before. It was on a rice meal with egg on top. Today I got the ramen and got a side of dumplings. Uh, Melanie got the same ramen I did and we split a side of dumplings and it was really, really good. It's the best bowl of ramen I've had in a while. Really nice broth, nice restaurant. As we were leaving, there was a line. There's like six people waiting to get in because they're so limited on seating now. So that's, they're doing good business. That's good. I keep looking up because I hear people going by, but no one's coming around me. So I think I'm okay on the mask. We're going to start walking again in a minute. So I'll have to mask up again. It's not so bad. Getting used to it. You know, I wore a mask so much before anyway. It's just now we have to. Going into the mall is interesting. They have a QR code you have to scan and it brings up the uh, health declaration and all kinds of, you know, tracking information. So you have to fill all that out and show it to them every time you go to the mall. That slows down the entrance a little bit. I think I showed that on a video recently. I may not have, I don't recall. I'll probably throw it on here anyway. But we already had the QR code from last time we were here, so we scanned it and filled everything in before we got to the mall. Saved us a lot of time. We just walked through the crowd and walked up with our phone and it said, you filled out your information. So, easy enough. The mall is unfortunately really empty. All the fun stuff is closed. None of the rides, the arcades, any of the computer shops, they've been closed for ages. They reopened them a little bit a month or two ago and then closed them again. As you can see, there's hardly anybody here, but there's still live entertainment at the food court. Seems kind of odd, but I like it. And there's a driver's lounge because most of the restaurants are recommending Food Panda or Grab Food. As we leave the mall, you see Strata across the street where we had our wonderful lunch. But next door to the mall is Plazuela. In the shops outside here at Plazuela is Curtos Calax. 
they make it in Manjurial. We've been wanting to go to their shop and just haven't had time to find it because we don't get out much. And they've opened up a place here to sell it. It's what they call Lichon Bread. We've got various flavors, mostly sweet. They have some herb. I need to try the herb and butter flavors later. All we got today were the sweets. We each got three of them for like 45 pesos each, just under a dollar a piece. This side has a food court. The back side by SNR has a produce market. They're putting their parking lot to good use. So what did we get on this bread stuff? I got Oreo. Oreo. And this one is almond. Why did we buy the almond? Because the cashier said we had to. Yes, because this is... Did you hear her? She says you have to buy this one. Yeah, because this is their best seller, she said. Oh, I thought it was just a rule. No. I this said, is the best seller and the only one left. So we had to buy it? Yes. Okay. I felt pressured. This one is yours. <laughs> that one is it's mine. Sola. No, it's not. Nutella. Nutella. <laughs> you get that wrong every time. But, Nutella to be fair, what is Nutella? Nutella is... A hazelnut chocolate spread. <laughs> so when you say hazelnut, you're kind of right, but kind of wrong. <laughs> it's, it's a mix. It's Nutella. Well, it's a hazelnut flavored chocolate. So, yeah. <laughs> it should. So this bread is like rolled up on a spit and cooked over yes. the coals, huh? Yes, just like... Um, That's cool they cook it just like, so you can uh, see outside through it it's called lechon 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 bread they cook it like uh, roast lechon uh-huh and uh, charcoal spit roasted bread got to love it mm. I try it well then open it and let's try mm. it i don't know which one is all of them why limit yourself? Let's go! According to the internet, it's a Romanian treat. It's a sweet bread used on special occasions, traditionally weddings. I used it as an excuse to drink some brandy, but I don't need an excuse to drink brandy. They wrap it around a spit and cook it over the coals, so it is like lechon here. In Romania, I believe they use an oven from what I saw. So here they call it lechon bread. We also use the food processor to make some mango ice cream. I should have filmed that. My apologies. Well, we're on the bridge, so I had to mask up. I'm around people. We are negotiating for a van to take us to the province to deliver all the school supplies we have. I don't deal well with scammers. And she won't give me their number because I would like to negotiate with them personally. And um, the van would usually be under 200 pesos a person. And generally they get like 14 people in a van. During COVID, they will get far fewer. So they may charge a little extra per person. I don't know. We want to buy all the seats in the van for a, our own trip. And because we want them to make a stop at the house, I'll pay a little extra. I'm open. But the first price we got was, he said 3,005. He said we had to pay double for the seats. And I replied to, I told her to reply back with, well, it may have been a quote from Cartman from South Park. And she doesn't speak that way. And I was like, well, don't use those exact words, but tell him no. I was like, give me his number, I'll negotiate with him. And she was like, no, because she's scared what I will say. I was just going to tell him, 2-5, firm. And if he replied back with anything higher, I would reply back with, 2-5, firm. But she won't let me talk to him. So I'm going to go to the van stop and ask how much is one seat and how many people are in the van. So I'm do the math myself to see what it should cost. Because I don't mind paying a little bit extra because I do want them to make one stop for us. But because we would pay for every seat 
and it would only be one stop, it would be much faster for them. So they shouldn't try and rip us off. But the one she has the number for was trying to scam us, so I told her where he could put it. We'll keep working on it. There are other vans, not a problem. We could always take the bus. But with three ballot buy-in boxes, it would be rough. We're leaving in two days. We're gonna stay for three nights. We're gonna get everything passed out. It's gonna, ah oh crap, they just changed the rules on us again. We're going to be at straight up enhanced quarantine, which means travel's locked down again, for at least two weeks. Every time we make travel arrangements, this happens. Got a few people showing up. It's getting a little, always gets a little busier right before dark. Not crazy busy, but decent. This section along the bridge is two-way. Most of it is one way. There is a sign up here that would stop me from going further. Well, not that the sign would specifically stop me, but the sign says not to go, and I decide to follow what the sign says. That is also quite often a cop here to make sure you do what the sign says, but I would anyway. Very nice river walk. Could use a little more shade, but if you come out here at 5, 5.30, it's not that sunny. So it's not bad. A number of different restaurants and quickie marts have tried this location. They keep closing. I'm not even sure what's in there now. It looks like just a Karen Daria. They might do okay. They don't have as much overhead as some of these other shops tend to have. There, I am Elo Elo, right? been out long enough I could have walked all the way around but instead I did about half the distance was about halfway around but it was mostly wandering back and forth because of the one-wayness and I stopped a lot to film stuff and talk so I didn't uh, want a long walk but it was nice oh look the laundry is putting out food they're putting in the care and area that's good Back to 7-Eleven. I need a Coke. Enjoy your day in paradise.